Hi, we will introduce our paper more than just attention, improving crossmodal attentions with contrastive constraints for image text matching. We study the crossmodal attention model for the image text matching task. Crossmodal attention can capture fine-grained crossmodal relevance. In ideal cases, crossmodal attention models will attend to the relevant key fragments by assigning large attention weights to them and ignore irrelevant fragments by producing small attention weights. However, since the attention models do not receive any explicit supervision during training, the learned attention models may not be able to attend to the relevant contents precisely. As shown in Figure 1a, the scan model, a state-of-the-art cross-modal attention-based image text matching model, fails to attend to the relevant image dog regions when using the word dog as the query. In Figure 1c when using helmet as the query, scan assigns large attention weights to the irrelevant human body and background areas. Recent work solves the problem by using annotated attention map to supervise the training of attention models. However, annotating attention is labor-intensive. In this work, we propose two constraints to supervise the training of attention. They work in a contrastive manner without requiring attention annotations. They are plug-in training strategies and can be easily applied to different methods. Specifically, the two constraints are CCR and CCS. CCR enforces a query fragment to be more relevant to its attended information than to the ignored information. CCS further encourages an attention model to ignore irrelevant key fragments. It constrains the attended information to be more relevant to the corresponding query fragment than to a negative query fragment. For example, as shown in Figure 2, by using the word grass as a negative query fragment, the attention weights assigned to regions containing grass will be diminished. We start by evaluating our approach for image and sentence retrieval tasks on Flickr 30K and Skoko. We incorporate the constraints into the four image text matching models, including SCAN, PFAN, BFAN, and SGRAF. The below tables show the results. We find that when CCR and CCS are used separately, they both achieve consistent performance improvements on all baselines and tasks. More importantly, all models achieve the best improvements when we apply both constraints. These results show the strong generality of our methods for different models and datasets. To quantitatively evaluate the learned attention models, we propose attention precision, attention recall, and attention F1 score. Attention precision is the fraction of attended key fragments that are relevant to the correspondent query fragment. Attention recall is the fraction of relevant key fragments that are attended. Attention F1 score combines attention precision and recall and provides an overall measurement of a model. The below tables show the results. We can see that applying CCR and CCS individually yields higher attention F1 score than baselines. More interestingly, we can find that using CCR alone improves both attention precision and recall. Using CCS alone mainly improves attention precision. Combining both constraints further improves attention precision. These results show the constraints work as intended. We also visualize the attention weights. In the examples of fire and mouse, scan fails to assign large attention weights to most regions containing fire or mouse. By contrast, CCR mitigates this issue. CCS is less effective in these cases. In the cases of infant and surfer, scan assigns large attention weights to both the irrelevant and relevant regions. In this case, CCR cannot fully diminish the attention weights assigned to the irrelevant regions, but CCS can largely solve the problem. The examples of the guy and suitcases show that combining both constraints achieves better results than applying them separately. Thank you.